You can work around with delay effect easily inside of Audacity. So to work around with delay effect, I'm going to go around over here and press the record button uh, to record a voice that I want to apply delay effect in. Effect. So this is the audio that I recorded. Effect. So let's say I want to apply delay effect onto this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the range of audio. I'm just going to select out other portion as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the delay effect right here. So to do that, I can go to effect and over here you can see delay is an option. So once you click on this, you got the delay type. You got regular, you got bouncing ball, you got reverse bouncing ball. You can choose the delay effect you want. So I'm just going to go around into bouncing ball. And here you can see there's the delay uh, level per echo right here. So for each delay, it's minus 6 dB. But you can decrease out the de uh, delay le level by 4 and then your own value as well. You can go for delay time, which is 0.3 seconds, but I'm going to choose to 0.5 seconds right here. And you can change the pitch and tempo or low quality pitch set right here. So I'm just going to stick to pitch and tempo and you can experiment around with the settings as per what you like. And now uh, you can preview this if you like to, but I'm just going to say. So the value not in range of minus 30 to one as it says right here. So it's minus, it, it's not going to be a uh, plus four, but it has to be minus. So it has to be a decrease of audio. So minus four right here, press OK. And now you can see that it has generated something like a delay right here. And instead of hearing one voice, now you will hear this. Effect, 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 effect. So there's an effect of the delay as you can see. And that is how you can work around with the delay effect inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.